In the upper right hand corner of the protein summary page, there's a link to Blink. Blink it results in a list of pre-run blast searches for peptides that have similar sequence to the peptide we discovered in our blast search. If you click on 3D structure button at the top of the page, you'll get a list of those peptides whose three-dimensional structure has been worked out, typically by X-ray crystallography or MRI. You can activate and select the structure by clicking on the blue dot, which will take you to what is known as the uh, Related Structures Intermediary page, which should come up in a moment. At the Related Structures page, you'll have the opportunity to download the three-dimensional structure and view it using a tool called CN3D, which you can acquire by clicking on the Get CN3D link on that page. CN3D is a program found on the NCBI structure page. CN3D uh, can be downloaded directly from that site. You can download whatever uh, version is appropriate for your operating system. Once you have downloaded CN3D, you can either take tutorials, which are linked to on the left side of the page, or you can check and verify that the download and installation configuration has proceeded appropriately. We'll go ahead and click on that link to see if we've properly downloaded and installed CN3D. There is on that page a link to a preloaded structure that will allow you to test and see if CN3D has properly been installed on your system. Just click on the link for the test structure. If CND3 has been properly loaded, you will see uh, a pseudo three-dimensional display of the protein and its sequence, amino acid sequence, below the display. You can move the, the uh, three-dimensional molecular model around by dragging with your mouse you can change uh, what type of rendering you have. Uh, remember we mentioned in previous discussions the worms view which is the default in this case, the tubes view which actually just shows you the peptide backbone of the protein in question, the classical wires model familiar from biochemistry textbooks, the ball and stick model, a classic molecular modeling rendering, and then finally, the space filling model, which looks like the molecule would look like in at the molecular size of a, an atom. So um, if we were able to shrink down to the size of atoms. You can also highlight the sequence of interest in the sequence, and that will correlate with a yellow region on the actual structural diagram. We can go back then uh, to our list uh, in the related structures and we can get the 3D structure if we click on that button and click OK. That will load directly into CN3D and we can see the ANFA homolog from humans and its structure in this case defaulted to the tube setting which is the standard setting for CN3D once you've downloaded it uh, this way from the structure site. And we can see everything if we select that from the drop down menu on views and what that shows us is the protein actually is a multimer in the crystal that was used to uh, generate the structure. We can look at the multiple renderings from the tube to the worm style. We can rotate by dragging the structure around in the viewer with our mouse. We can highlight sequence in the sequence viewer which is located just below the structure viewer and when we highlight that yellow sequence that also becomes yellow on the part of the structure that correlates with that specific amino acid sequence. Additionally you can export the three-dimensional image as a portable net graphic a PNG file and that's useful for publication to the web or in paper journals. So let's go on back to the uh, peptide summary page by walking back through the browser. 
until we get to that summary page. Once we are back at the peptide summary page, what we will do is then walk back one more step to the entree gene summary page with the additional information that's available on that page. And there at the gene summary page, the entree gene summary page for uh, our gene, which is the von Hippel Landau uh, syndrome gene, we can see additional sites showing us uh, functionality of the protein, other proteins that it interacts with, and a link to a site called Unigene on the right hand side of the page. Unigene purports to be uh, a compilation of the transcriptome of various organisms and shows as one of its tools the expression profile tool and if we select that we see the expression pattern of the VHL gene at the mRNA level using uh, a technique called uh, express sequence tag uh, pooling which we will discuss later on in class uh, when we talk about gene expression Suffice it to say that this allows an absolute uh, n number uh, association with the number of copies of mRNA against normal tissues, disease tissues, and tissues in development. And at the very bottom of the Unigene page, there is a legend that explains exactly what these dot blots mean in the actual numbers in tissues.